This is question five of the 2019 Ordinary Level Leave Insert paper. You can find a link in the description below that will give you an image of this question if you don't have one readily available to yourself. The question is going to be dealing with areas and volumes. Specifically, part A will be dealing with areas of a circle and their perimeters as well. And part B will be dealing with a cone and the volume of a cone. As always, please forgive my crude drawing, especially when it comes to circles, they're quite hard to draw. But here's what question A uh, gives us, and it shades in this area here. This is the shaded in area. Some students have trouble with these questions purely for an English um, reason. So I just want, would like to point out that the word crescent, crescent is sort of this a shape here, um, like a crescent moon. So that's um, where that comes from. So this question asks us to find the area and perimeter of this crescent. Crescent, maybe, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The, the shaded in shape here. It tells us the radius of these two circles. So really what they're asking is, well, let's do the area first. Um, they're asking us to find the area. So one way to look at this is they're asking us to take this circle minus this smaller circle. So this is um, three, three centimeters, yes. And this one is 2.5 centimeters. And that will get us um, this crescent here. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, the area for a circle is, it's in your formula tables. I'll put it up on screen now. But it is um, pi r squared. So that's pi r is three. So pi r squared is pi three squared minus pi 2.5 squared equals you can simply put that into a calculator and we will get corrected two decimal places we'll get 8.64 and that's centimeters squared because they gave us uh, these guys in centimeters yes okay to get the perimeters the perimeter of this crescent shape is all the way around the inside of this circle all the way around the outside it's really just the perimeter of the two circles so the perimeter here per that is equal to the perimeter of this one. Again, this formula is in our tables. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. It is um, two pi r. So it's two pi and r in this case is three, plus this perimeter. So it's not minus this time, it's plus this perimeter and that's two pi 2.5. And that equals, again, we just throw that into a calculator. We will get um, 34.5. 5, 6. Again, that's rounded to the nearest second decimal place. And this is again a centimeters. You won't lose marks for leaving these out, but it's handy to put them in. Okay, so that is part A. Um, let me rub this out here and we'll do part B. Part B is asking us about the cone with this size here. And there's a pipe over it pouring water in. And the pipe is pouring water half a litre every minute. So every, half a litre every minute is coming out of, uh, let's put in a little pipe here. Let's see, it's coming out of this pipe into this cone. And then um, how long does it take to fill it basically? To the nearest second. So that's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, the question tells us per, me, per minute and the answer they want is in seconds. We'll deal with that at the end maybe. Um, I guess we could deal with it now. No, it's gonna be easier to deal with at the end. Okay, so to find out this question, really what we need to do is find the volume of this cone. Once we know the volume of this cone, we'll be able to find out how long it takes to fill. For example, if this cone is one liter, the water comes out of the pipe half a liter every minute, so it would take two minutes. It, it would be two divided by a half. It would take two minutes to fill this cone. If the cone is um, half a liter, it would take exactly one minute. If the cone is smaller than that, we'll always just divide in that half liter. Well, first of all, let's find the volume of a cone. And again, we can get this from our formula book. I'll put that up on the screen at the moment and I'll write it on the screen as well. And um, it is V is equal to one over three pi r squared H. So let's just um, put in the information we have here. This is equal to a third pi. These are just numbers. One over three pi is just a number. Um, or they give us that as seven, seven squared. And H is 12. Apologies for that. Um, and this, again, we can just put this into a calculator to 196 pi. So that's an exactly right answer. If you want to round it off, I don't, I don't advise this in this question, but lots of students may have done this. So I'll write it down at 615.75. But really, I would use this answer. This is 
perfectly correct. This one's rounded off. And because we're not finished the question yet, I like to use the perfectly correct number. So I'll actually just rub this out. But you could have used this number. You'll get the same answer at the end, but um, in some questions you might get a wrong answer if you don't round off enough. Okay, so 196 pi is the volume of this. As you see, it was about 600 um, centimeters cubed. Is that, so that's uh, the unit here is centimeters cubed. So how many liters goes into that? Now here's our first problem. We, this is a physics question really. We need to know what a liter is. So you need to know that one liter, one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed. That's something we need to know. I'm sorry, there's no other way around this. I don't think they would tell us that in the question. Maybe they should have, because it's a maths question, not a physics question. But we need to know one liter is equal 1,000 centimeters cubed. And remember, the pipe is pumping water in half a liter every minute. So another way to write that would be 500 and centimeters cubed per minute. So instead of half a liter, 500 centimeters cubed. That's the one we're gonna use because this number here is about um, 600 we found out. Uh, let me leave that number in, in fact. It's gonna be probably useful just to talk about 615.75. So every minute, 500 centimeters cubed comes in, a total of 600. It's gonna take a little more than a minute. Let's see how to do that exactly. That is Again, I won't use this number, I will use the exact number, 196 pi divided by how many times does 500 go into that? That's what we want to know, that will tell us how many minutes. And that is equal, again, use a calculator and now you can, you can start rounding off now um, because you've no real choice. Uh, that comes out as 1.2315 um, minutes. But the problem is they ask us seconds. They ask us how many seconds will it take? So really, I need to find out how many seconds is in this. We know, we, know, um, uh, we know there's 60 seconds in a minute. So we simply multiply this number by 60. 1.2315. Uh, um, well, yeah, let me just write it here. This is equal, if we multiply this by 60, it is equal to 73.89 seconds. And then he asked us for the nearest second. So this is equal to 74. 74 seconds is the answer. To that question. You would have got a lot of marks for getting the volume there, but uh, what they were looking for then is for you to divide by the 0 0.5. Again, you would have got marks for just dividing by 0 0.5 here, but for full marks, they wanted to, you to convert the liters into centimeters. And again, one more little trick at the end to make sure you got instead of minutes, seconds. So this was actually quite a tricky question because of the units. The maths was very simple. One simple formula and uh, dividing how many times it goes into it. Very simple maths. The real question here was the areas, the, uh, the units. So uh, be very careful about them in the future. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you.